today we're gonna do a little apartment tour video but instead of just simply showing you everything i'm gonna be reviewing almost everything that i have we've only been in this apartment for a year but i feel like we've made a lot of improvements that really make the place feel like home to start off we have this teeny tiny little entry right here but we have a nice closet i just hang my most frequently used bags and our masks it's not the cutest little hanger but it's very functional and then we have our closet so I didn't realize until moving in here that even though this closet has a bar, it's actually too shallow to fit a full-sized hanger and clothing in it, but it is the perfect depth for a shoe rack. So that is what we filled this closet with. I have a super tall clothing rack that I got from Amazon. It makes use of the space so well. It holds a ton of shoes and you can customize how tall you want it to be. It took a little while to put together, but your shoes don't slide off of it or anything. And aesthetically it's not the worst like i probably wouldn't put this rack outside to display my shoes but it doesn't look bad at all so yeah i would say this purchase is very specific to this closet and the space that we have but worked out really well and if you're looking for a nice simple tall shoe rack solution then i think this is a great one and then right across from the closet we have this side of the entryway and right here on the right we have this Ikea Calyx unit. I love it, it's super affordable. It's really nice to use as a bench like this. And I personally love styling it with some books underneath. That little stool is also from Ikea and it's one of my favorite pieces from there. Super cheap and cute and it's really great as like a plant stand, like how I'm using it. This beautiful Birds of Paradise is one of two of my larger plants that I have and I got it from a local nursery, it's beautiful. And then this little cabinet right here is actually an Ikea hack. I made it following a tutorial from Lone Fox on YouTube and it turned out so well. It's definitely not perfect, but it looks great. The Lone Fox tutorial is on a media console from Ikea, but I ended up using the Ikea Evar cabinet. And in general, I would actually really recommend these cabinets from Ikea. They're really nice because they come in two different depth options. So this one is only, I think like 12 inches deep or something like that. And I just really like the smaller size because it's a lot less clunky in spaces and it's a lot more versatile while still offering a ton of storage space. The mirror on top is a vintage mirror from the 80s. I found it from a local Instagram seller and I love it. It's really nice and lightweight. So it's nice that I can kind of pick it up and move it around really easily. And then across the window, I have a white curtain rod and curtains, both from Ikea. Would definitely recommend getting your window treatments from Ikea because both the rod and the curtains are so cheap there. These are the Ritva curtains from Ikea and I really like them because they're the perfect weight. Our apartment does have blinds as you can see and we just keep them rolled up all the time and use the curtains for privacy. So the Ritva curtains are opaque enough to offer some privacy, but they still look really nice and airy when the curtains are drawn open. The color of the curtains are not a stark white if that's what you're looking for, but even though our walls are pretty bright white, I think the curtains still look fine against it. So next up we have the living room and the first thing you see here is the little art clamp. I got mine from Amazon and I really liked the double layered shade. The shape in particular is just really functional if you want to put some kind of overhead lighting. It does have a little bit of a spotlight effect so I would actually recommend putting in either a smart light bulb or something that you can dim just because if you like sit right under it the light can be quite bright. And then next we have our couch. I was so excited to get an L-shaped sectional in this apartment because our last one definitely did not have room. We got this couch from Facebook Marketplace and I'm really happy with it. I don't know exactly where this couch is from, but it's definitely more on the budget side of sectionals. It definitely gets the job done, but I think it could be even more comfortable. And like I wouldn't say, this is a couch that I'm going to be bringing to every apartment that I live in. I have two throw blankets here and they're both really great. The first one is from Target and it's a lot more affordable. This one is from the brand Barefoot Dreams and this brand is pretty pricey, but I do really like this blanket. It's very soft and cozy, but super lightweight, which is nice. And then these two pillows here are also from Target. Our rug is from Rugs USA, and I'm really happy with it. It has the look of a jute rug that I really liked, but it's a lot softer. I think it's made out of cotton. It's pretty similar in color to the couch, but because it has 
all this white thread in it it brightens up the space and i feel like it makes it look very open and airy which is what i was going for it is a little bit annoying that it doesn't stay in place perfectly even with the rubber grip that we have underneath it the material isn't super stiff so it kind of stretches out but overall i'm really happy with the purchase i know rugs can be a little bit of a hit or miss and they are on the pricier side but this one was a really nice budget option. We found this round glass top coffee table off of Facebook Marketplace and originally when I got it, it was actually painted white but since we already had so much white going on in this space, I wanted to see if I could remove the paint and see what was underneath it and lo and behold it revealed this nice brass coating. I'm not going to show you it up close because I actually ran out of paint remover so it's still a little splotchy. I really like the glass top coffee table because again it helps keep the space really nice and open and it helps reflect some of the light that comes through the window because this middle part of the living room just does not get that much light. And then here is a little poof that we got from Ikea. It's really cute, really nice to put your feet up on. I will say that when we first got the glass top coffee table, my boyfriend and I quickly learned not to put our feet up on it because even though the glass is really heavy and you don't have to worry about it slipping off, the force of hitting it with your foot can make it move a little. So having this little poof is really nice. Across from the couch is our TV and this credenza is my pride and joy. Out of all the things in my apartment this is the one thing that I want to keep forever it's a vintage Danish teak credenza and I think we got it for a pretty good deal because apparently it's not marked and it's not made by like a famous designer or anything but I am in love with it it has these beautiful curves on the edges and it's just such a beautifully constructed piece in the corner right here we just have this faux tree from ikea and then i really like this big planter that we got from it we got it from home depot and it just has this really nice stone like texture to it right here we have a sonos speaker this is the sonos one we got it during a black friday last year and we've been very happy with it the sound quality is super nice it pretty much functions the same as our other google home devices and i think it just looks really nice and aesthetic sitting there over here at the end we have our dining area this dining table is from world market and it's their marble top brass tulip style table i really like it i think world market has some really nice pieces at really great prices this was one of the first like nicer furniture pieces that I purchased. The marble is really beautiful and the size is perfect for a lot of apartments. It is a marble top so it is porous and you have to be careful about water stains and just any stains in general. I really haven't taken the best care of it but you don't really see the stains unless you're looking at the table from a very specific angle. These chairs are a reproduction of the Marcel Brewer Seska chairs. I bought mine from a website called Seatings and Stools because I thought these looked the most similar to the originals. I love these chairs. I think they're gorgeous. They have a little plastic piece on the legs because if you sit on the edge of the chair they tend to tip over a little bit but the plastic piece helps a lot and these chairs honestly look great they're really comfortable to sit in the only thing that i didn't really think about is the durability of the seats of the chairs you'll find chairs all the time where the caning on the seat is ripped through and i am already seeing like a little bit of dents into the seat though i'm not sure if i should have gone with one that had an upholstered cushion seat but so far they're holding up and i think they look great in this space and then lastly in this area we have our little laundry corner so behind that door is our washer and dryer and then i have this cute little woven hamper that i got from amazon and i love that it has two different sides to it so that we can separate our whites and colors and then to the right is a console table from target Originally, it was an espresso brown, and then when we moved into this apartment, I painted it a dark blue. It's definitely not the highest quality piece of furniture, but it does have two drawers for some extra storage, and I think it looks really nice. The basket on the bottom is from World Market. The mirror I got off of Craigslist, and then this vase here is from Ikea. Because the windows are far and we have these beams right here that kind of block out some of the light, this area is like what I call the dead zone of light in our apartment and so we often have this light on during the day and I think one of the best improvements that I made was switching out the light bulbs in this light for smart light bulbs and in particular the light bulbs that I got you can actually control the temperature of the color so right now it's at a cool white and I just changed it to a much warmer white and this is as warm as it gets and then this is as cool as it gets. So the temper control is really nice because during the day when we have the light on, we can keep it a lot cooler just to match the color of the actual daylight. But at night when we have other lights on, we can match the warmth and make it a lot easier on the eyes and make it nice and warm. I'm just controlling it with my app here. The brand is called Wise 
and it's really nice and easy. And here we have our lovely kitchen. I've probably already said this about a different room, but honestly, I think one of the biggest improvements we made to this apartment was adding this shelving right here. So previously, this wall was completely blank. There wasn't any kitchen cart island in the middle. So I don't know if maybe previous tenants used this as a dining area, but there isn't a whole lot of counter space and cabinet storage. So I thought it'd be great if we could fill up this entire wall with more storage. This shelving system is built with the Evar system at Ikea, and it's the same one that I used to make that entryway cabinet. These pieces are the same. And again, we chose the one with the more shallow depth just so that we could have more space to walk around and use the island and stuff like that. And I'm super happy with it. The VAR system comes in an untreated pine, so you could paint it, you can stain it, you can do whatever you want to it. So I just painted it this beige taupe color that kind of matches the countertops. And then on the shelves, I spent a lot of time figuring out what to store on it, how to make it look clean and organized. So on the top, I have these large baskets that I got from Target. We just use it to hold some bigger things that don't fit and things that we don't use quite as often, like some grilling equipment. And then here we just have a bunch of clear containers to hold some dry goods. I believe these are from the brand Rubbermaid and it's their like brilliant clear collection. I really like them. They're really well reviewed, easy to clean, and the seal on them is really nice and airtight. And then I just printed out the labels with the Dymo tool. These baskets are from Target and I like that they kind of break up all of the white and bring a little bit of texture into the shelving. And then here we have our beloved toaster oven, which we use all the time. But since getting the air fryer, we decided that we're just going to be taking that when we move and getting rid of this since we use them in pretty much the same way and the air fryer just works a little bit better. I've got a little faux plant from Ikea. And then we also have a little Google Home Mini, which comes in handy. We love playing music, listening to podcasts and stuff while we cook. It's also great for setting timers and getting measurement conversions. These containers are from Ikea and I really like having these because they just look so clean and they just hide everything away. Here we have room for some of our cookbooks and we have a couple of our plates and bowls on display. These are from Target. This little decor picture is also from Ikea. And then these little baskets are actually also part of the Evar system. It's really handy. I just lined it with some paper. And we usually have a bunch of fresh fruit here, but we need to go grocery shopping. And then moving on, we have this thing that serves as an island. It's a kitchen cart that we had in our previous apartment and we just use it as an island. It fits the space perfectly. It just gives us a little bit extra counter space and storage. We have a couple of more of our kitchen appliances. And out of all of these, I would definitely recommend the rice cooker the most. We have the one by Zojirushi and it looks really nice and sleek. Super easy to use, makes the best rice every single time. So over here is our main cooking area. We have our utensil holder. This is a marble one from Target. I got this cute little spoon holder off of Etsy. And then I did actually want to talk about our kitchen towels because surprisingly, it's hard to find good towels. And these are actually both from Williams Sonoma. The one on the left is called their like all-purpose pantry towel and this is a really nice towel it's kind of like a flat weave on one side and then the other side is more of a looped terry finish so these are really great for drying plates and drying like fruits and stuff like that it's very absorbent and it works well but it also doesn't leave any lint and then this is part of a pack that came with a assortment of different kinds of towels this one is a lot fuzzier and it works well too but definitely would recommend these towels in this little corner we have our most loved kitchen appliances we have our air fryer this is from kosori which you can get off of amazon it does take up quite a bit of space but we really love it it works well and then back here we have our vitamix we have the vitamix e310 i believe is the model and it's very similar to their like most popular professional line um, except the container is just a little bit shorter. I personally think it's a really great investment. Our smoothies just come out so much smoother with this and it really helps us increase our vegetable intake because we just blend it up in a smoothie. So through here we have our office and if you've seen any of my videos, you're probably familiar with our office because I film most of my videos in here. This is the part of the room that you don't usually see. This is 
where our desks are and it looks kind of bare. So both of our desks are the same and I think I actually got them from a seller off of Walmart. They're very similar to a desk that West Elm sells and these are really nice quality. They're solid wood. I love the simple mid-century modern shape and it came with some circular knobs but I ended up switching them out for these brass colored poles that I got off, of, got off of Amazon. The only thing with these is that they're, they don't really stay straight. Like they turn pretty easily because they're just held in by one screw but I think they look really cute. Good desks can be pretty expensive and considering the quality of this one and that it's solid wood and not MDF, I think it was definitely worth the price. And if I can find the exact same one, I'll definitely link it below. We've got some standard desk stuff. I got this LG monitor, which is really nice. And then my laptop stand is by the brand Raindrop. There's a bunch of really similar ones out there, but I really like that one. This office chair isn't anything special. It's like a typical office chair that is pretty comfortable. I don't know what brand it is or how expensive it is, but my boyfriend got it from his old office. In the corner, I have some dried pampas grass that I got a couple of weeks ago, but I never ended up finding a vase for it or cutting it. This one is like really tall. I feel like pampas grass is pretty trendy, but it is a cute look. They are pretty messy and these aren't like the fluffiest pompous grass ever, but I still think they look pretty cute actually. I did spray some hairspray, which I would definitely recommend doing if you ever get this because the stuff just flies everywhere. And then here is the view of the office that you probably have seen in my videos. I love this room because it gets the best light in the apartment and it's perfect for filming my videos. We used to have one of those typical nipple lamps in here, but I really wanted to change it out for something cooler. So I got this glass pendant from Amazon, I believe, and it was a pretty pretty reasonable price. It wasn't too hard to install ourselves, but it's not the most functional. If this is gonna be your only light source in a room and you turn on the light pretty frequently, then I wouldn't recommend getting something like this because I do have an LED light bulb in here and it is pretty bright, but it's just very warm and the glass is like really hard to get perfectly clean. So you can definitely see the fingerprints and stuff when you turn it on. But since we aren't in here a lot at night, it's not a big deal and I am happy with the overall aesthetic of it. In this little corner here, we have a little vintage dresser. I switched up the furniture in here a couple of times, but I am happy with what I have now. I got this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace and I really like it. It's really cute and the color of the wood is really beautiful. It's a great place for some additional storage in here. We keep our workout stuff in here and some of my camera equipment. And then I also keep my yoga mat and this workout mat here tucked away behind the door. I got this workout mat off of Amazon a year or two ago and it's been a game changer for me for ab exercises because there is something wrong with my tailbone where I can't sit on it at certain angles so this helps relieve the pressure a lot and I can actually do the exercises. On top of the dresser I have this little vase from H&M Home that I put some eucalyptus in. This little glass shell container I got off of eBay and I just keep some hair ties in it. And then I have a couple of picture frames that don't have any artwork in it because I'm just very indecisive when it comes to that. I got this cute little candle from a local seller at a vintage market. And then in this little nook right here, we have my vintage brass and glass bookshelf here. And yes, I do have more picture frames that don't have actual photos in them. This bookshelf is so beautiful. I won't be able to bring this piece with me to New York and I think it's just better off if I sell it right now but I got it pretty recently and I think it's such a stunning piece. It looks really great in the back of my mirror photos that I take and it's just like such a elegant statement piece. My boyfriend's coworkers usually see this in the back of his Zoom videos and they always compliment it. So I think that says a lot. And then right here you can see my full length mirror. This is the Ikea Hubbit mirror and I think it, they might be renaming it or something like that, but this is definitely the best mirror of the size that you can get for the price. It's really minimal. The frame is really minimal and it's like this silver color that blends in really easily. I would definitely recommend this mirror if you're looking for something nice and big. It makes the space feel a lot bigger. Rugs really transform my space in my opinion and I do really like this one. I feel like it can look a little dirty sometimes and I do wear my shoes on it sometimes for some videos, but it's really soft, super cozy, and I love how it brightens up the space and makes it feel really cozy. It makes the room look so much bigger because it really divides up the office space working area with this side right here. And yeah, I've honestly only bought 
very budget friendly rugs from places like Overstock, Rugs USA, stuff like that. And I have been really happy with them. Last three right here, we have my clothing rack and a couple of you have asked where it's from. I got it from Amazon and I really like it because of the size and it does look really cute. I have the combination with the white and the light colored wood here. It's really great for just organizing certain pieces and putting a couple of things on display. And here is our nice sunny little bathroom. So I actually made an entire video of decorating this bathroom. We put up these bars, we put up these picture frames. So definitely go check that out if you would like to see the process. I kind of showed my design process for this bathroom and like figuring out what things to put up. We went through a couple of different shower curtain options. But anyway, these pictures are a little crooked. Um, I got the frames from Amazon and then the prints are both from Society6. And then over here we have this really nice wide towel bar. I like that we can put both of our towels and just like lay them out completely so that they can dry. And we got this bar from Amazon. I think it's by the brand KES. We have the exact same one in a smaller version on this side where we hang our hand towel. And I really like this set. Quality looks really nice. It's held up really well and it was pretty easy to put up. So would definitely recommend those. I think they really made a difference in this space. This hand towel is from CB2 and I think it's really cute. It goes with the space well, but I actually don't think I recommend it. It's quite a thick towel, but I don't feel like it's very absorbent for some reason. I don't know. Right here, we just have this little corner triangular shelf. It is from Ikea. I forgot what it was called, but I really like it. It fits absolutely perfectly in this space. Over here, we just got a little essentials on the sink. This little cup holder is from Target. Yes, I have an Aesop bottle. Would I recommend spending this money on soap? No, but do I regret it? Absolutely not. I think once you get over the initial sticker shock, it's something that we use every day. I like how it looks in here. And then over here is the toilet area. So we put up this over the toilet shelf. It's like a ladder from Bed Bath & Beyond. It matches perfectly with the little corner shelf on the side of the sink. And I really like it. It warms up the space so well and it offers a place for storage, for some decor, and I think it looks really great. I just have a couple of bits and bobs, mostly from Target. This is from Target. This one's from a local plant shop. This is from World Market. These two are from Target. This little dish is from CB2. And then this tray is from Target. That's also from Target. And lastly, we just have our shower curtain and the rug. The curtain rod, we replaced the one that was originally here. This one is from Amazon and I like how sleek the black looks. The curtain is from Target. Very simple, very bathroom. And then this little bath mat is also from Target. It does get a little dirty. I mean, it's like white and furry, but we just vacuum it pretty often, throw it in the wash and it's held up fine. Here is our lovely little bedroom. So we have actually two different mismatched nightstands, which I kind of like. It's because my vanity was white. So when I had the white nightstand on this side, it looked too white, but this bed frame and the matching nightstand are both from Living Spaces. We've had this furniture for almost four years now, and I'm actually really happy with everything that we got from Living Spaces. We got our bed frame and a couch from there, and we were really happy with them. The quality is honestly really similar to West Elm, which has a really similar bed set, so I would definitely recommend living spaces because it's just more affordable. Here's what the nightstand looks like and the finish has held up really nicely. I think I might have nicked the wood somewhere but otherwise it looks really nice. Our bed is very plain but honestly when it comes to the bed I'm just gonna value functionality <laughs> over aesthetic so we actually have a weighted comforter on it and we're just using the cover that came with it because it has a lot more ties to keep the comforter in place since it is so much heavier. And I really love the weighted comforter. I don't think I'm gonna go back anytime soon, although it would be nice to get like a nice fluffy bed linen set. This is the kind that I believe has a bunch of glass beads in all of the pockets. And it honestly just makes it really, really comfortable to sleep. I was having a lot of trouble falling asleep at one point and it still happens sometimes, but I really do think that the weighted comforter helped. And I will link the one that I have below. It's just from Amazon. This nightstand is also from Amazon and it's a very similar mid-century modern style, except this one has 
just one drawer and then it has a little shelf on the bottom this was really cheap i'll link it if i can find it still but i think it was like 50 ish dollars and when you look at it up close you can see some scratches and there's a little nick here so it doesn't hold up super well but i mean it does a job and it doesn't look bad from far away over here is my little vanity setup so the desk that i'm using as a vanity is from ikea and i truly think that this desk is one of the best options you can get for a vanity this desk is really nice because it is quite shallow so you can pretty easily fit it on the side of your bed it also has this glossy finish for the top which makes it really easy to clean when you get makeup all over it which i always do it also has two huge drawers where i store the majority of my makeup again i've had this desk for almost four years and suddenly i'm starting to see a little bit of damage i don't actually know how <laughs> this crack came about but this kind of spreads all the way across and then some of the um, glossy finish has worn off in some places. I think it's probably my fault for just like not wiping things off immediately. But other than that, I think this is a great option. It's nice and wide so you can have storage on either end like I have it right now. This chair is from Amazon, I believe. It's just a remake of the Eames chair. It's really comfortable, really sturdy. Not really my style anymore, but it's a great chair and then over here i have these drawers which are also from ikea i use them to store some of my bigger palettes and extra skincare it doesn't feel the highest quality but it does a job and i'm actually kind of surprised because a lot of these products are super heavy but the drawers work really well and it's the perfect complement in my opinion to the vanity so very happy with this these two acrylic organizers are from muji and i absolutely love them they look so nice and they're perfect for organizing things that just have like a very uniform shape like this. Also talk about this little mirror that I have. This is also from Amazon. It's super dirty right now, but let me open it up. So the mirror looks like this and you can just turn it on with different light temperatures. So this is the widest color light and then you have the warmest color if you tap it again. And then the third color is somewhere in between. And then if you tap and hold it, you can adjust the brightness so yeah this is but this has been really nice i just propped it up a little bit to make it a little bit higher but i think a light up mirror like this is really helpful and i think it was like 20 30 bucks on amazon so on this wall right here we have an ikea pax wardrobe and then the mom dresser they don't make the dresser in this color anymore this one is actually a really nice almost like walnut redwood color honestly i am a big fan of ikea furniture it's such a good price it does the job and it just offers us so much storage in here we bought this off of craigslist and we've had it for four years since so it served us really well it is chipped in some corners and i put some tape to cover the chip over there this is my boyfriend's little skincare corner and then over here i just have a little corner where i have my perfumes and my jewelry this jewelry organizer is from the brand stackers you can get it at the container store and i really like it it's a really nice aesthetic compact way to store and organize my jewelry they come in different like layouts so this is what the top version looks like and then i have one that looks like this with a bunch of small compartments and then i also have one for some longer necklaces i ordered this cute little asymmetrical mirror from aliexpress actually and i really like it it was like maybe ten dollars and the mirror seems really nice high quality and then this is a older version of the ikea pax wardrobe that we again got second hand off of craigslist i really like it it offers a ton of storage i actually wonder if they make a version that isn't quite as deep but i actually don't hang anything in here i just have a couple of shelves and drawers i'm not gonna open it up because it's super messy but i think my only complaint is that i wish it were just like a little bit more shallow because it is kind of a bulky piece but if you're tight on space i would definitely recommend looking into getting one of these you just need basically a corner and you can have it so much storage my floors are incredibly uneven so i never figured out how to adjust the door properly when we moved here but whatever we also have this little air purifier here which is an absolute lifesaver for the california wildfires and my allergies i got this one off of amazon and it's by the brand pure it seems to work really well and i like that it has all these different settings you can set a timer and you can put it 
into like the sleep mode so it turns off the lights and makes it really quiet. There's so many different options on Amazon for these types of things but I've been really happy with this one. I've repurchased filters for it before and it's really easy to switch out. So that is it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys liked it. If I missed linking anything in the description box then let me know in the comments and I can try to get a link for you. I'm actually in my new New York apartment now. I'm really excited to make some progress decorating this place. So if you want to see my moving vlogs and vlogs while I start decorating the place, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!